Hello folks, nice to see you. This is our annual Christmas video for those bikers in your life that you know and love, that you're searching for gifts for. We've compiled a few of our favorite items here today. And just like Michael Buble, who only comes out once a year, we've dusted Andy off as well. So he is joining us for this video. Well, thank you. And hopefully this is going to be a slightly more relaxed affair. We feel we're still recovering from last year's speed run for our Christmas gear guide. So this year we have some amazing stuff and genuinely, I don't think I've ever been this excited just looking <laughs> under a tree at the stuff we have to take you through. So we're going to go through now and uh, hopefully it'll be every bit as informative if slightly more laid back. So kicking things off, we have the luggage category and we've got an amazing range of collaborations with Trip Machine and we have some items ranging from some sort of differing sizes of pouches, yeah. we've got a little key organiser mm -hmm. and they come in these amazing boxes which look perfect for the camera so thank you very much for that. Okay. I mean you know a lot about these Tim, you've done all the sort of videos in the past so uh, yeah. Yeah so and it's a company we've worked with a lot in the past, say we, like I'm part of that conversation, Lawrence has worked a lot with them in the past um, to create some things specifically for bikers and their needs. Such like this key pouch. Yeah, a little, little key pouch, you know, <laughs> we, it's always sort of annoying. We, we generally have more than one key in the city, don't you? One of them's for your lock or whatever, and then house keys as well. So this is going to stop them sort of rattling around when you're going along. And if nothing else, it's just a really nice little uh, organiser, very nice leather. And uh, that's got the uh, Urban Rider logo on it as part of this collaboration collection. Yeah, which you're sporting yourself there as well, the brand new logo. Nice. <laughs> The other items we've got, so we've got a load of different size pouches which you can attach, um, obviously loop around some area of your frame. We will show you one just to kind of illustrate that, but basically we've got different measurements uh, and you will be able to find one that suits your needs the best. So you strap this to your bike and then you can bring whatever you want to with you. The bigger one, you can actually put a little shoulder strap over and carry with you as well. Really, really impressed with um, what the guys and the team have done uh, in conjunction with uh, yeah, the amazing people over at Trip Machine. So do check that range out. We've also got some other really nice new releases around this time of year in the luggage world from Krieger. So obviously everybody knows Krieger, everyone trusts Krieger. And uh, they've got a collaboration with Sideburn magazine, which is nice, it's something different. It's a fairly sort of familiar package, I would say, as Krieger bags go, but then they've also yeah. got a collaboration with RSD, Roland Sands Design, which is different, and mm. that has a sort of waxed canvas look to a lot of the bags, which Krieger haven't really done in the past, and it's quite sort of our scene, I would yeah. say. And I would say Krieger is a very technical kind of brand. They make some fantastic products, probably the best luggage on the market for a biker, but having partnered with Roland Sands, it's got a little bit of extra something to it because they're not always the most pretty looking thing. Now you've got something that looks stunning and functions excellent. Yep, so all available through the website and uh, they've got the main bag from the RSD range. You've also got a, a tool roll and a few other bits as well. Uh, so moving on, we have, I think the helmets category next, which is an incredibly competitive category at Urban Rider. Um, we have a few really amazing things though to show you. We have a one of a kind offer from the Showy Glamster collection. So this is pretty much most of our favorite helmets. I know Tim's, Tim's a fan of the Arrow. We always have this uh, ding dong about it, but the, uh, <laughs> the Glamster Resurrection, which is a color range in three colors. Here we have this sort of blue black is absolutely beautiful. This was a hundred pounds more than the standard colored Glamsters. And as a result, not, not that many people went for it because it's just, it's a lot to pay for a sort of marginally different color. We now have them on at an absolutely stonking discount. So they're at 299 while stock last, obviously. And we're probably not likely to see this kind of deal again. Mm. So that's amazing. Um, there's a other really exciting stuff going on in the helmet yeah, world as well. Yeah, so I mean, we've seen loads of different brands. Uh, you quite like, I think you quite like the Rivale as well from DMD. I do quite like the look of the Rivale. It's funny. Very enough. similar to yeah. this one. Very that's similar. a really nice helmet that we've been impressed with recently. Uh, we've got a few from Rogue as well. If you want something that's maybe a little bit more affordable, we've got some great options from them. And again, a really nice gift for somebody. Next up, category-wise, we have locks. You think, well, like, oh, pivot. <laughs> I've properly put myself in a position where I don't need to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got loads of locks as well. And these might not seem like a particularly sexy gift, but I have to say, if someone was to buy this for me, I'd be very happy. This one in front of me is actually really, really impressed us. So this is a new one from Hiplock. This is the D1000. And if you've seen the review, of which there'll be links in the description, this tests very strongly. It also passes the Sold Secure Diamond rating, which is rare for a D-Lock, uh, which is why it's impressed me quite as much as it has. Just be careful with that one in terms of the measurements, how you might want to fit it to your bike. 
you can find all that stuff in its description. And then the one you've got there is very eye-catching. Uh, I have that on my bike outside here. In fact, that's how much I like it. And that's the Light Lock Core, which has impressed both of us, I think. Yeah, so this is a 1.25 metre lock. So mm. if you need longer length, you effectively get a slight reduction on the price of two and they join together. Uh, it kind of coils up in, an, in itself. We'll flash a picture up so you can see that. So it's quite transportable as well. And yeah, I mean, locks is not a sexy, exciting category, but these, <laughs> yeah. these two are really, really good. I've got the hip lock and this has been a massive success. So, I mean, it is sturdy. <laughs> you will not yeah. be uh, losing sleep at night. <laughs> Next up, I have my cheat sheet. We have the stocking fillers category, and this is 100% a category that was quite difficult to sort of narrow down to a few. Do you mind just clearing that? Yeah, so sorry. we have, <laughs> talk about that while I get some more stuff, the Wentworth Sling. Yeah, this is one of those things that I know some of the team weren't expecting to do as well as it did, and we did feature this last year as well. Needing one. <laughs> uh, because it's just been really popular. And it's one of, the, one of those things where you didn't know you needed it until you start using it, and it's a little helmet sling. So you can carry your helmet around with you off the bike rather than holding it in your hand. Uh, and it is just a really nice little stocking filler gift, very easy to get for somebody. That's been really popular in terms of other little gizmos I'd never ever seen before. <laughs> uh, we have the hip lock, Z lock, combo. So this is a combination cable tie, effectively. It's made of steel and it's one of those things that until I saw it, I was like, ah, that's, I've never seen that. And I, I can't, <laughs> can't imagine why, but it's actually really useful and it's yeah. very mobile. So you can yeah. easily just put this in your backpack and it's the kind of thing you might just be out, you might think, I don't want to carry my helmet around with me. You can lock it to your bike very yeah. easily. You can lock your bag. You can attach it. it practically anywhere on the bike as well. So yeah, it's a great little thing to have. Yeah, it's just really useful. Always come in. Yeah, you, you never know what you might need it for. We also have brand new branding on a couple of neck tubes in conjunction with Holy Freedom. Oh, there we go, the right way up, who we love. These are the Prima Loft neck yeah. tubes, so they're kind of a mid-weight. Basically, they're pretty good for all year and they do look really good, even though we're really biased in <laughs> the new logos. So available in stock right now. Yep. Helmet care kit, I mean, it speaks for itself. Keep your yeah, clean. everyone who rides One needs to clean the helmet. helmet at some point, so it's always a handy thing to have with you. Um, and again, really easy thing. It's not like when you're buying clothing where you might worry about the sizing. Obviously, one size fits all, that's going to suit everybody out there. Cruise Tools is a uh, sort of little toolkit that we've gone for. This is the metric toolkit and uh, I learned yesterday that's useful for non-American bikes. Uh, I'm not much of a handyman myself when it comes to these <laughs> things. Uh, but this is a really, really great little toolkit that, yeah, pretty much anyone that doesn't have a Harley is going to really appreciate. <laughs> so stocking fillers, nice and easy. Pricing on them is sort of relatively affordable as far as, you know, gifts go. So yeah, an, an easy one for pretty much any motorcyclist. The next category I probably get a little bit overexcited about, if I'm being honest, but I really care about my warm hands. So we've got a few different options available for you. We've got the gloves, obviously, that Andy is sporting there, and these are probably the gloves that have impressed me most in terms of heated gloves. These are the Revit Liberty. And the reason they've impressed me as much as they have is because they have a bigger battery. It's 4,000 milliamp hour. It's roughly double the size of most other options out there. And you can use it as a power bank if you want to. I don't know how many people are gonna do that, but you can. And of course, it's got a micro USB charging slot, meaning that you can charge it a little bit easier on the go. The other options we've got are from Merlin, which have you seen those ones? Yeah, we've got two or three from Merlin three options, and yeah. they're, they're fantastic as well. Uh, we have the racer selection. Yes. Um, unfortunately, we're already pretty much out of the urban racer, urban rider yeah, ones. Um, yeah, <laughs> the, <laughs> but uh, humble brag. But th there's a lot of choice and yeah. sort of something for everybody. It's really come on a lot over the last few years with the refinement on the actual gloves and their profile. If you don't want that as an option, then Ultima add-ons have done a really, really nice, sleek, stylish heated grip. The sort of heated grip on the market of choice, uh, most people probably are familiar with, it didn't look great. It had quite a sort of, I would say, <laughs> ugly control unit. This one, I have been told, even I could fit to a bike. Apparently, it's a one out of five difficulty to just <laughs> <Wow>. hook. <laughs> so, you know, there you go. Um, literally just sort of hooks up to the battery, really sleek. We, we love this. And uh, yeah, it's very straightforward to fit. So you've got options, basically, whether you want the gloves directly, or the grip. So next up, this is the category that I will definitely defer to Tim on. This is <laughs> tech, which uh, yeah, you've done some amazing reviews on. So oh, I, I think I should sort of probably just hand over to you at this to point. Uh, B-Line. Well, okay, as it's right in front of me, yeah, the B-Line is really nifty. I like that a lot. It's a really sleek and minimalist way of having sat nav on your bike. It just gives you your turn by turn directions on this little display. It's very easy to fit. You've got multiple different options. More like that. <laughs> 
or more like that, yeah, so you can actually see it. Uh, multiple different options. You can go for a metal body, you can go for a plastic body, uh, different mounts for it as well in that sense. Uh, and it links with your phone and just is a really pretty and functional thing. Really good solution. We've got another sort of handlebar accessory in Quadlock. They have finally come to the UK <laughs> via sort of a retail network. Everyone knows Quadlock, everyone loves Quadlock. Yeah. So there's a whole range of accessories. You can get the vibration damper accessories Which as well. Which I would recommend for a lot of people out there. Yep. Um, the nice, if you want some more information, if you do want your full phone on there and you want to see the actual full map, then obviously it's great. You can actually get your phone on there. You can weatherproof it with one of their little covers. You can use the vibration damper depending on your phone. You can check which ones it's more specifically for. And actually bikes, I think they mentioned because there's certain vibrations through the bars. Uh, but self-explanatory, you can have your phone with you on the go. And then onto sort of tracking devices, security, we've got the Monimoto, mm. which again, you know a lot more than me about. We've tested, yeah. Uh, so this one is a more robust signal strength than the previous version that we've got a review of if you want to check it, but essentially it works in a very similar way. So you can put something on your own bike uh, and obviously track it. If someone were to steal it, you can hopefully go and find it and reclaim it. And then we have the sort of ultimate, I would say, version of that, which is the bike track. Bike track, which yeah. I was really very one. lucky because I basically <laughs> winged having my bike fitted with the demo model yeah. for the video we did. So I basically <laughs> got a free. Yeah, it's funny how that works. <laughs> so I basically have the bike track, and it's amazing, genuinely. Like I still don't know where it is on my bike. <laughs> like it's it's one of those things you're yeah. sort of supposed to kind of hide, obviously, uh, and it sends me an alert. You know, whenever yeah. I sort of. Forget, if I sit on it a second before turning the key on, <laughs> yeah. someone calls me up and says, yeah. just to be sure, you know, your bike's not being stolen. We've often set it off accidentally for Andy in the office, uh, <laughs> and it is fully accidentally, yeah. maybe a few of them on purpose. Um, so yeah, you get a phone call. It's got phone a really, call. like, really easy to use app and uh, some subscription-based service, but for yeah. that, you do get, <sighs> Lawrence, what's, um, what's the bike track security guy's name? Bill. 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 You get your yeah. own Bill. Lovely Bill. You get Bill, <laughs> who who is an absolute legend and a man mountain chasing down potential thieves for you. So yeah. that is well worth a subscription. Yeah. Another item that speaks to me, and you can really tell what my focus is, are base layers. They keep you warm. Boring, and... but important. <laughs> it's like buying socks for somebody for Christmas, but for bikers, you know, it's not so much socks. It is warm base layers that you could stick on. The reason I like these from Merlin is they are a nicely priced merino wool base layer and merino wool is better for insulation, also for moisture wicking. It's just a more comfortable way of doing it and obviously it will keep you warm when it's cold out. On top of that, mid layers. <laughs> so we have a really great selection. We've got the Merlin range. We also have the Bell Staff long way up down jacket which is a hilarious name and it's because <laughs> it's got down in it and it's from the long way up collection. I actually have one of these. It's one of those that yeah. sort of there are plenty of things that say they can be worn as a mid-layer on their own or as a standalone jacket. Mm. And this one I use all the time as a standalone jacket. It's really, really nicely made bit of kit. So um, lots of choice there. And on to well, outer layers. This, I guess this is our speciality. So we thought rather than show you a random uh, jacket or trouser from our extensive collection, mm. we'll simply mention that whatever you want, <laughs> we have the most amazing range of the world's finest riding gear when it comes to jackets. Merlin, obviously really well known for their incredible tech spec at the price they offer it. Yeah. John Doe has been doing such incredible things lately as well. Knox have mm -hmm. their layering systems, very, very versatile and popular. So really just head over to the website. There's something at every price point, every rating of CE approval. Yeah. We also price match, so it was the cheapest price you'll find in the UK. Free shipping, free returns in the UK. So uh, we sort of try and lay it on and play. Our size guides, we put so much effort into. We take every item, we assess it relative to the manufacturer's claims about sizing, so we can try and help you get it right first time and minimize returns. But if you do make an error in that department or it's just not wanted, we are extending returns up to the end of January from this point. So essentially it's a uh, risk-free hassle-free shopping. And in terms of the less serious side of the clothing department at Urban Rider, we also have a massive range of lifestyle gear. And these are really ideal Christmas gifts. So again, rather than show you one random t-shirt, head over and see a huge range of Deus, Kaito, El Solitario, and many, many others. Next up, a category definitely that I would appreciate. That's for the biker at home, all the accessories you might need, especially for storing your helmet. This is something I absolutely want. Can't believe I haven't bought it already. 
maybe this year. Uh, but this is Halley Accessories. We have a stand here, obviously, you can put your helmet on. If you want to wall mount it, however, and have a slightly different look, Trip Machine also do one. I really do like the look of that. Uh, obviously, you can hang stuff off the bottom as well, which is really good. It depends on your space, obviously, but finished brilliantly. Yeah, and then in terms of just, you know, other bits to have around the home, you need to have the how to build a motorcycle, book on your coffee table that makes you look like you're far more handy than you probably are. <laughs> Next item and a really easy option to buy for a biker are goggles. Obviously they always come in. Um, one of the goats, one of the stalwarts of this are the Barso's we've got here. We've got loads of different options, loads of really cool colorways as well. And I think it's sort of testament to their quality. Every star of picks we've done pretty much, I think. Yeah we wear these yeah, <laughs> so like we really do like them yeah. um and they're surprisingly hard to get hold of as well so we actually do have decent stocks at the minute so the other goggle of choice is the barafaldi speed 4 this is the urban rider edition this is a perennial favorite here not just because it has our name on it but it's a fantastic blend of price point mm -hmm. functionality and just versatility in terms of what kind of bike you might use it on the really good thing about these is they have a sort of external lens that you simply have poppers to take yeah. the smoked lens on and off so it's so so easy goggles can be quite fiddly if you want to switch out lenses on yeah <laughs> these are no hassle they're really good price they're really comfy so a definite easy option if you are buying for someone who just doesn't know what they want they'll want this and then this is uh this is my favorite category this is the money <laughs> no object so we have chosen in a couple of random bits we have a zard exhaust and mm. we now do an extensive range of parts on our website including the lovely zard exhaust of which i actually have one this is not the exact same version but they are so gorgeous i didn't realize how good they were <laughs> till i got one we've all seen the little clip of uh, of my bike and we all agree look how proud you are now look at that face <laughs> we all agree mine sounds the best and it's because of these yeah fine i'll show a clip of your bike maybe just so you can be proud of it yeah thank you <laughs> I mean, I've only just moved here, so I don't really want to fall yeah, out maybe with all don't the neighbors yet. <laughs> <laughs> so entering our final category of the list, this is the customize your bike selection. We all love tinkering. We all love <laughs> pretending we've done something extraordinary yeah. to our bikes when really, what we're talking about is a pair of grip wraps here. Yeah, trip machine. Very easy to fit. Obviously, it always looks stylish. That's a nice addition. And even I could do this. <laughs> the other one that we thought was worth highlighting again from our extensive part selection is the, I'm going to read this one, Moto Gadget, <laughs> MoView, Cafe, Glassless, Handlebar, End Mirror. Mm. The description there pretty much told you everything you needed to know. So they don't have glass, so they're not likely to, you know, tag something and shatter. They are sort of polished back, so they give so you- So polished, they're reflective, yeah. Perfect mirror, yeah. so you can look at yourself. Really slim line as well, very nice, premium. Super easy to fit, would look good on, you know, pretty much any of the bikes that you guys are likely to be riding. And if you've made it this far in the video and you still haven't seen anything you like, well, frankly, I'd be really amazed. Yeah. Uh, but if you're not quite sure and you want to go for the easy option, we have the Urban Rider gift cards, which are both digital and physical. You can redeem in store or online. So catch all for absolutely anything on it's website. an easy cop out if you don't know what somebody wants necessarily and you think it'd be safer in their hands you can just get them some money obviously well i think all that's left to say is merry christmas from everybody at urban rider it's been a really exciting year there's some amazing stuff happening next year <laughs> as well so do stay tuned for more of this guy and his pretty face in 2023 we'll see you next year bye bye just, sorry so, yes. see if you can not scratch settle the it on there without <laughs> scratching it is the table precious to you yes yes it is. okay <laughs>